Hi everybody and big welcome back to a Malifaux battle report. Now in this battle we have Charles Hoffman versus Asami Tanaka. Charles Hoffman's crew consists of Melissa Kaur, Hunter and another Hunter, two Wardens and a Watcher. Asami Tanaka's crew consists of the Cat Kamatachi, Lady Yumi, one Yurugumu, Waguro Benari, one Yokai and one Tengu. We're playing with the main strategy, break the line in wedge deployment. With the additional scheme pull off, catch and release, assassinate, outflank, claim jump and break through. Asami Tanaka chooses claim jump and outflank, while Hoffman grabs break through and catch and release. And with that, let's start the match. At the start of the game, Herald from the Yurugumu. Asami wins the flip, but lets Charles Hoffman start the game. Hoffman activates first. When Hoffman activates, every model inside 6 inches gains a power token, which is every single model, because they're all deployed together. First action, overcharge at the Guardian. The Guardian gains a power token and gains fast. Second action, overcharge again on Melissa Core. She also gains a power token and fast. And last action, overcharge at the Watcher, that also gains fast and a power token. Asami activates Obsidian Uni. First action, charge. Because of Asami's ability, it will be a place effect which will trigger the Lady Yumi. Last action, focus. Green rubber bands marks much focus you have. Mechanical Attendant activates. He's pushing all models away 3 inches from him, which is great mobility for the entire group. This is perfect for spreading out and trying to go for all kinds of schemes across the map. Second action, Eternal Magnet again. Push away things more. But he flips a flat black joker so nothing happens. Asami activates. Because of the Lady Yuma trigger, I've looked at the top of my library. First action, from the Maw they come. I wanna summon a Yurugumo. I'm not spending a Soul Stone. Because I know that there's a red joker on top of the deck. This is summoning a Yurugomo. Six inches within Asami. This is triggering Lady Yumi. This is also triggering the cat. So I draw a card and then I have to discard a card. It is summoned with two flicker tokens. Yellow rubber bands marks much flicker you have. Second action reaching tendrils on the new summon Yurugomo. Reaching tendrils succeeds and we're pushed into the enemy models. Third action, Mother's Love removing a flicker token from the Yurugumu and giving focus to it. Melissa Core activates. First action, transfer power. And this also implies a push away out of engagement range from the Yurugumu. Second action, charge. She has run and gun, which means she can charge and shoot. And then shooting at the bird, Tengu. The Tengu chooses to take a flicker token for this. She deals 2 damage in a blast effect, dealing, dealing 1 damage to the Yokai. Black rubber bands marks how much damage you have taken. Second action from Melissa Core, shooting again. This kills the Tengu, but because she was fast, she has one more action. With her last action, she's shooting at the Obsidian Uni. The Obsidian Uni uses a flicker token, but it is a miss. Activating Oguru Battery. Move and second action, move again. She is really close to the first objective. The Guardian activates. The Guardian attacks the Yurugumu. It's a hit. The Yurugumu takes three damage. And a trigger from the Guardian pushing the Yurugumu away from Charles Hoffman. Attacking again. This time both are using a power token and a focus. Did these giants flip? Amazing each. But the Yurugumu sheets a knight. But the Guardian sheets a queen. So therefore a weak hit. But it's a severe, so it's 5 damage. The Yurugumu now has 1 life remaining. But the Guardian had fast and makes one last attack at the Yurugumu. The Yurugumu decides to flicker this time. And the Yurugumu only has 1 life remaining, so it's dead. It didn't stay alive long, but it consumed the entire Guardian's activation. Sadly, the Yurugumu didn't have time to activate. Yurugumu activates, first action move, second action interact with the main objective, pushing it two inches forward. The Warden activates. He makes two walk actions and then bonus action transfer power to push an additional two inches. This reaches the objective. Yokai activates, two move actions to reach building on the other side. It is going to reach the objective at the next turn. 
The hunter activates. It's making two double walks to reach a great distance. But last action, bonus action, transfer power to get a little bit more forward. Lady Yumi activates, and when she does, she places a flicker token on the cat and draws a card. First action, charge, just to actually make a trigger on her own, because this will trigger violation of reality, and then this will trigger Lady Yumi herself. And last action, focus. The other hunter activates, first action, walk, just checking to make sure it's not inside engagement range, and the last action, interact, pushing the objective back to the middle again. And last action, Bonus action, push 2 inches, transfer power. Activating the cat, first action, move. Second action, bonus action, dust devil. Remove a flicker token, creating a hazardous terrain marker. Last action, focus. Warden activates, first action, walk. Second action, bonus action, transfer power to push 2 inches forward. Last action, restrained claw on the obsidian uni. But it's a miss. Activating a Manjaku. First action, Anchor Uni on Obsidian Uni. Removes a Flicker Token. Second action, Anchor Uni again. And removes the last Flicker Token from the Uni. Last model to activate, the Watcher. It makes double walks, which doesn't reach the objective perfectly. But then it uses transfer power to push two inches. But because it's fast, it also has a last action to make an interact action, pushing the objective one inch forward. At the end phase, Deadly Pursuit on the cat, pushing 4 inches. But the other cat remains where it is, it's a pretty good position. Round two. Charles Hoffman wins the initiative flip and starts off the match. The Warden activates first with a restrained claw at the Obsidian Uni. The Warden flips a red joker on the hit, so it's a hit. The Obsidian Uni takes 1 damage. Second action, same action at the Yurugumo. Asami activates, first action, charge. When she charges, she places, and when she places in connection to the Lady Yumi, the Lady Yumi triggers. Asami needs to cheat fate, but she has the right card in her hand, the king with a mask to summon a Yurugumo with her second action from the Madeikon, summoning a big spider. Second action, mother's love, removing a flicker token and giving it focus. Charles Hoffman activates that warden. First action, interact, pushing the objective to the other side. Second action, restraint claw on the Yurugumo. It's a hit! Two damage and gain slow. Obsidian Uni activates. First action, charge. When it charges, it will make a violation of reality because of Asami and place itself here. This is within six inches of Lady Yumi, so Lady Yumi will trigger. Then attacking at the cat. Met Mecha Cat. The hunter takes one damage and one burning from a shh, trigger. Burning hazardous terrain effect within four inches of the obsidian uni. This is a great move because there are three models that haven't activated inside this hazardous terrain effect. But on the other hand, the Yurugumus are also inside the hazardous terrain effect as well. The Watcher activates. Far edge corner behind the pyramid. Transfer power make a two inch push. Interact action moving the marker into the Uguru battery. The Yurugumu activates and charge Hoffman. It's also actually charging the Guardian, but well, both. This is giving the Yurugumu a two burning because of the move into the pier marker and an action inside the pier marker. Red rubber bands marks how much burning you have. Flip a red joker on damage, which actually kills the tiny token. Because Hoffman discarded a card to protect himself, letting the token, the mechanical tenant, take the hit, which killed it. The Yurugumu was slowed, so that ends its activation. Only one action. Charles Hoffman activates. Currently in engagement range with the Yurugumu. Currently gives power token to Melissa Kor, the Guardian, and the war one of the Wardens. First action, overcharge at the Guardian. The Guardian gains a power token, and fast. But also, there's a move check. The Yurugumu fails, takes the damage, and gains injured. Second action, overcharge on Melissa Core. She also gains a power token and fast. Last action, emergency trend power transfer from the Warden and move a power token from Hoffman to the Warden. But there's a trigger that will push Charles Hoffman towards the target. But he pushes through the burning and gains a burning. And last, normal action, overcharge on the Hunter. So the Hunter gains fast and a power token. Lady Yumi activates, and when she does, she plays a flicker token on the tiny cat to draw a card. First action, tortures trance on Hunter. 
Second action, Torture's Trance again at the same target. This time it's injured, so it's easier to hit. The Guardian activates Transfer Power first action to push two inches. This is giving me a burning. Second action, Toss on the Obsidian Umi. This is a great play because we can change the position of this hazardous terrain effect. The Toss is throwing the Obsidian Umi far away from the models, taking the burning all with it to the only players that are now gonna be suffering from the burning effect. Actually, it's only the cat and Amanjaku that are gonna be affected because the other two models have activated. Second action, a normal attack at the Yurugumu. It's a hit, the Yurugumu has two life remaining. Last action, hitting it again using a power token. And that kills the Yurugumu, that is now dead. The not summoned Yurugumu activates and attacks the hunter, gaining a flicker token for boosted attacks. It's a severe hit, but the cat has armor, so it takes 4 damage. The hunter activates and pounces on Shets, placing base attack with Yurugumu and gives the Yurugumu injured. Second attack on the Yurugumu, miss. The cat activates, first action, charge. Because I get to look at the top 2 cards in my library, I notice that I have red joker. So with the inbuilt charge attack, I attack at Yurugumu and remove the red black joker from the deck. Bonus action, Dust Devil. Drop a hazardous terrain effect on the Warden and the Guardian. They are now going to activate on their next turn on a hazardous terrain effect. This also removes last action focus. Melissa Core activates and shoots at the cat. But it's a miss. Second action, Charge. She has run and gun, which means she can actually shoot. So she shoots at the Yokai. But it is a miss. Last action, because of fast, shooting again at the Yokai. This is a hit, and the Yokai now has one life remaining. Melissa Core have a bonus action though. Maybe she can kill the Yokai, throwing a grenade. But the bonus action fails. Activating Woguro Bedri. The first attack miss, but the second attack hits. She gains two flicker tokens in the end. The Hunter activates. First action, transfer power to push into connection to the marker. Second action, interact, pushing the marker over to the enemy's side. Last action, charge the yokai. The yokai dies. When the hunter kills something, it gains fast. And the last action it uses because of fast, it focus. Activating a manjaku. He anchor on his twice, fails and gains to burning. This ends turn two, where the hunter pushes and one hunter dies, the cat takes damage from burning, and Amanjaku takes the damage from burning too. Round three. Yurugumu activates first and charges the warden and the guardian, attacking the warden. Bonus action, frightened reminder on the tiny cat, pushing it back. The warden takes two damage and has three life remaining. The warden and guardian is now standing on a hazardous train effect, while also being in engagement range with the Yurugumu. This warden activates. First action, bonus action, transfer power, pushing two inches. First normal action, interact, pushing the marker forward. Last action, charge action on the obsidian uni. But the attack miss. Lady Yumi activates. First action, charge. Because of violation of reality, she can charge with a placement effect. When she places, she will trigger. Last action, interact action, pushing the marker two inches forward. Melissa Core activates. First action, charge. And with run and gun, she's allowed to shoot as well. Shooting at the cat. And the cat is dead. Bonus action, clockward grenade. None of the models are hit, but we sheet fate to dodge with one of them. Last action, trying to shoot at the Lady Yumi, but Lady Yumi is terrifying and Melissa Cory is just too scared. A mana queue activates and removes one flicker token from the Uni, the other were action anchor Uni fails, and then applies a storm of shield concealment to all models around him. The Hunter activates and first action interact, pushing the objective. Second action, transfer power to get close to the objective and push the objective again. Oguru Battery activates and moves the marker one step and is now in base-to-base -base contact with it. With one more activation, that marker will be on the center line. The Warden activates. The one that is standing on the hazardous train. First action, transfer power to get out of the hazardous train effect. Attack the Rugumo. Miss! Attacking again. 
with a weak hit 2 damage. The Yurugu now has 4 life remaining. Asami activates first action charge with violation of reality, which means she will place and trigger Lady Yume. The second action from the mod they come, wanna summon a Tengu. Last action, Mother's Love on the Yurugumu, removing a flicker token and giving it focus. Hoffman activates. First action, charge the Warden. Charles Hoffman heals the Warden, repairing it. That Warden now has full health. Second action, overcharge on the Guardian. It's actually a fail, so doing it again, but that's a fail too. Obsidian only activates and attacks at the Warden. First attack hits. Red Joker on damage, 5 damage total. The Warden has 2 life remaining. Second action, miss. Guardian activates. First action, transfer power to move out of a hazardous terrain effect. And get into close combat reach with Lady Yume. First attack at the Spider. <laughs> It's a hit. Yurugumu takes 3 damage and has 1 life remaining. But on the second attack, it is a hit and the Yurugumu actually dies. The Tengu activates. Now this Tengu is a summon, so it's not allowed to interact. But it has a dark bargain that it activates on the Guru Battery. It's a success, so Uguru Battery makes an interact action and takes a damage. First normal action focus, second action move. The Tengu is supposed to die, but because it activates, finishes its activation within Asami, Asami can take two damage to remove a flicker token, so the Tengu actually survives. And at the end phase, the Hunter pushes forward. At the end of turn 3, Charles Hoffman gains 2 victory points for objectives and Asami gains 1. It's currently 2-1 to Charles Hoffman. Round 4. The Warden activates. First action, transfer power. Second action, interact, pushing the objective back to the middle. Second action, charge Lady Yume. This is gonna prevent Lady Yume from actually making an interact action on the objective. But the attack miss. Lady Yumi activates and attack back at the Warden with her focus on her first attack. Both attack hits, but because of all the armor, it only takes two damage. Three life remaining on the Warden. Miss Core she for activates and charges. With running gun, she's able to shoot and she shoots at the Tengu. But the Tengu flips a red Joker on defense. It miss. But the second attack hits and the Tengu is dead. Bonus action, throwing a grenade. In the end, the Obsidian only takes the damage from the explosion. A Manjaku activates and removes two flicker tokens from the Obsidian Uni with Anchor Uni twice. Charles Hoffman activates and delivers power token to the Warden and the Guardian. Charles Hoffman charges the Guardian, but he charges through the Dust Devil Marker and takes damage. He attacks the Guardian and heals the Guardian. The Guardian has now full health. Second action, he discards a few power tokens to increase his reach to attack the Warden. The Warden now also has full health. Last action, he gives the Warden overcharge, giving it a power token and fast. Asami Tanaka activates. First action, from the mod they come, summoning a Yurugumu. When I summon something, Uguru Battery will notice it and trigger, teleport and place next to it. This is going to trigger Lady Yume. Second action, walk up to the objective. Last action, the third action, interact, pushing the objective forward. The Guardian activates. The Guardian makes its walk action up to the objective, staying outside of Lady Yume's attack range. Second action, interact action, returning the objective marker back to its previous position. Bonus action, transfer power into base contact with objective and in range to Asami. Last action, attacking Lady Yume with a power token. The attack hits and Lady Yume takes 4 damage. 4 life remaining. Obsidian only activates and attacks the Warden. Sick attack, miss. The Warden activates and attacks the Obsidian only but misses both attacks. But this is where Asami Tanaka concedes. Round 4 ends here and we're going to round 5, but mathematically Asami Tanaka can't catch up to Charles Hoffman's victory point. None of the two players really performed that well with their schemes, but Charles Hoffman is actually able to complete one point for breakthrough. Catch and release, well, the model died quite early in the game for him. Asami Tanaka lost her Yokai and Tengu quite early in the game for the outflank mission and can't really claim the claim jump either because Charles Hoffman is standing in the middle and isn't probably going to die. 
So it all comes down to break the line where Charles Hoffman has a real advantage. So the game ends 4-1 to Hoffman.